should be green morality and milk in the general population. And it was uh, done in a questionnaire method, a survey method with questionnaires. Uh, and I will just make a, a small introduction about morality. Um, the one small standard on morality is uh, uh, is uh, described as a psychological mechanism that works to uh, make people realize if something is right or wrong. It's simply saying it's what makes you think about a certain situation or action to be right or wrong. Um, and this is guilt. Um, I'm not going to explain about guilt because my friend and colleague <laughs> explained about guilt a little bit before me. And so thanks, I'm not going to make it easy for me. Um, so guilt, I will basically say, is what results when a person um, does something or their moral standards are, um, they think their moral standards are low, they feel guilt as an emotion, and it also affects um, the behavioral decisions people make. Um, sorry. Um, if there are also two types of guilt, which I also investigated in this study. I took both of the uh, two types of guilt in consideration, which is state guilt and trade guilt. Uh, state guilt is the current uh, status of guilt you are in at the moment. It could change uh, to time and the actions you have done or past actions you have uh, done. Uh, and trade guilt is the proneness or the tendency for a person to uh, be prone to guiltness. So moving on to the background literature, I would just like to explain uh, Harman, uh, he is an American um, uh, philosophist and he said uh, that guilt um, is the result of violating uh, moral standards of the individual so that they would feel unpleasant about it and that is what is called guilt. And he also said that individuals can have a low affinity to guilt but be high in morality. So, this is the uh, this is one of the this only person who said uh, that I found that said that it, it could be if the guilt if guilt is low morality could be high and morality is low guilt could be high. But other studies such as the next one I have uh, uh, put in the slide it, it says that uh, guilt it, and wrongdoings could result with having high morality. So that if uh, guilt is high morality could be high. And the decision, uh, the probability of making right decisions is also high. Um, and moving on to the next study, um, if this actually explains a little bit about uh, how environmental damage in the in group uh, and out group. This study, uh, this sorry, the study is done on in group behavior, and it was found that guilt motivates people to be more moral and uh, more responsible of their actions, um, which also supports the fact that it gives high morality is also high. Um, research on morality and guilt has also been done on a clinical sample like psychopaths, and they have said that lack of empathy and guilt could result in violence, so violence could be uh, something you consider to be um, uh, moral or not very moral. So uh, also there is another study that uh, contributes to the fact that says that lying and honesty uh, and guilt, they, they look to lying, honesty and guilt, and this explains that because of guilt uh, or feelings of guilt, it would motivate a person to be more honest and to prevent them from lying. This also uh, 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 explains a little bit about how morality and guilt uh, would be uh, correlated. So my recent question for, for this study was to see if there is a is there a relationship between morality and guilt, and the aim was to find out this uh, to investigate and find out the significant correlation between morality and guilt, and if there was a correlation between morality and guilt. Um, the hypothesis uh, that there are hypotheses there is no correlation between the level of morality and and the level of state and trade guilt because I looked into both separately with morality. And the alternative hypothesis being there is correlation between the level of morality in a person and the level of state of trade. Um, so my method uh, was a simple survey method, and there was 106 participants who were Sri Lanka. There was 51 males and 55 females, aged between 20 to 50 years old. It was a convenient sampling, so the majority, or actually most, um, all of them, were from the Colombo area, so they would be the 
living in Kalambo or they were working in Kalambo. Um, so I, the, two, um, the tools I used was the moral competency inventory and the guilt inventory. Uh, the moral competency inventory has 10 uh, items in the scale. So it's in competencies that uh, relate to morality and um, help it, uh, helps to uh, judge what moral behavior morality is. And it has four characters. The guild inventory, I use both uh, subscales of uh, trade guild and trade uh, real estate guild. Um, so these are my results. Um, I used the uh, Pearson correlation. This is the uh, descriptive statistics. Um, you can see the mean and standard deviation. I'll just skip the next one. Um, these are the information ones. I used the Pearson correlation. And uh, as you can see, there is a um, significant negative correlation between morality and uh, state guilt in the, as it shows in this table. Um, so that means that if in my sample, um, the, if a person shows high levels of morality, they will show low levels of uh, state guilt. And if they show high levels of state guilt, they will show low levels of morality. Um, this is also the next uh, piece of correlation I did with morality and trade kit that also shows a significant negative correlation um, between morality and um, trade kit, which also indicates that if morality is high, trade kit will be low, and if trade kit is high, morality will be low in person. So um, I would just like to go into the discussion and tell you uh, some of the past studies that have supported and where this basically this result uh, is quite contradicting to the past research, most of them which said uh, co uh, co the correlation between morality and guilt is positive and if morality is high, guilt is high. But as I mentioned before, Harman um, said uh, that there was a there is a possibility of uh, something like my result showing in a person. So uh, it, it it could be due to the fact that past research has has there hasn't been a research that has been done in Sri Lanka in this context. Um, the, so also at the second point, you can see that I mentioned that the other researchers contradict my results um, because they said there would be a positive correlation to morality and hit. Uh, so to explain a little bit about the uh, results that I had, um, there are some theories who suggest that um, the morality is a universal uh, um, set of um, principles. Um, but um, there is also certain aspects in morality that could be different when it comes to cultural or uh, personal uh, differences. Um, so it could have, affected, have an effect in, had an effect in my uh, results. Um, since it, uh, the past research has said there is a correlation, positive correlation between guilt and morality were mainly done in uh, Western cultural um, uh, environment. Um, and also, uh, there was one that uh, mentioned the second, uh, the second point I have put. Uh, it says that Chinese and Americans experience emotions in different manners. So when it comes to guilt, and this also says that uh, um, the Con co cultural context is uh, needed to understand the role it plays uh, in a, as an emotion and how it relates to morality. So this could also have been an, um, uh, an, uh, point for why I had this uh, contradicting results to our past studies have shown. Um, moving on to the next one. This is also an additional result that I got that I would like to show because it's quite interesting. Um, according to Martin Austin, uh, the moral context inventory that I used uh, can be uh, divided into uh, these sections to like uh, make it simplified and make it easier for people to understand. So it, it would be 90 to 100 would be very high morality and 80 to 89 high and so on and so forth. And what I found in my results were well, the majority of um, my uh, participants would fall into the moderate to very high a uh, standard of morality when there was only a very few, uh, actually two, a uh, very few in the um, low level. So that could, that also I didn't go into detail, but uh, it uh, is also very really interesting finding in this to see the most of people were in the um, moderate, very high um, category. So that's a few limitations I would like to quickly go through. Uh, the sample size is not. 
very large uh, and the sampling method of convenient sampling so it can represent the whole of Sri Lanka and there should also be a validation of the tools that I used to the Sri Lankan countries and it may be a translation of it to the uh, languages used like Tamil and Sinhalese. Um, for future research, um, a larger sample size could be taken in place and a uh, better representation of the population and different cultural backgrounds should be looked into and also could 